And if it ain't for you, that's great. I won't, I won't bother you again, but come on, you got to take a look. Now, once we sign somebody up, everybody get this. I'm telling you what, I'd had my mobile provider for 15 years, but you know, when we started doing mobile phones, you know who my mobile phone is through now? Stream. Stream. Everybody in this room needs to have a stream mobile phone, guys. I mean, let's get real. I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna sell Chevys, we probably need to drive a Chevy. It doesn't work too good when you go, hey, why don't you get my service? Well, how is it? Well, I don't know. I don't have it, but uh, uh, not a real good selling point, is it? But we all need everything that we offer, guys. And, you know, as far as that protective services, I didn't know much about identity protection and all that stuff. So, you know, it, it's amazing. When I had no money, I didn't really care. <laughs> I didn't really care. I mean, you know, so why? But if you have something, or if you're planning on having something, right, then yeah. you need the protective services. Right. So we all need the protective services. If our company offers it, we buy it from ourselves right. and we do it. If you have an electric bill in your name, we get electricity in the state of Texas. So we do that here. Now, get this guys, this is so key if you're wanting your group to grow fast. And I've talked this over with Donnie and Steve and Randy and Greg. I mean, we all, we all agree, all the leadership agrees. Martha, we all agree with this. You go sign somebody up. Before you leave their house, they're switching and getting a website, right? There's two. We're going to get them on the energy if they got a bill. There's three. They're going to get protective services. There's four. Now, they're qualified. Now, if they don't have an energy bill, we'll get a mobile phone. I mean, they need all of this stuff, guys. And if we do it as we go, D, we don't have to worry about it. Because when we walk out, they're qualified. Boom. And they get two people in and they get those four points. Boom. They're qualified. They're promoted. And they get $700, but also you get $700. We got to understand those matching bonuses are crazy, guys. And the neat thing about it is there, there's no limits on how many people we can sponsor. Over the next 10 weeks, we need to be sponsoring machines. We need to be getting out of our comfort zone. I'm going to say it again. You've got a chance, and I can't guarantee this, but I'm going to tell you people will do it. There's going to be people making a hundred grand over the next three, four, five months. Why not you? I mean, let's do this. And then what that does, it's catapulted your business, and it's got this rocket speed going then because we've got so much happening and so much excitement and so much momentum rolling right into that event in Florida. Guys, I am as pumped as I can be. All right. <laughs> Woo. I'm going to take a breath. I didn't spit on you, did I? <laughs> Jeez, I forgot to tell you. You said the first row. Sometimes I get excited. Okay. <laughs> All right, for you guys that don't know me other than as the crazy man, I'm a high school basketball coach by trade. I coached for 16 years at Lakeview High School in Garland. I loved it, did it with a passion, felt like I helped some of my guys, never made a whole lot of money. I finally decided that the, the Mavericks or the Spurs or the Rockets, they just weren't gonna call me. So I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do to change my financial picture when a friend of mine showed me this a few years ago. When I saw it, I didn't understand it all. I mean, it, it didn't make all that sense to me. I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but I just kept thinking, you know, that, that might work. As I was looking at it, that was a thought going through my head, that might work. That might work. Well, obviously it's worked, okay? I mean, you look around, this company's done between seven and eight billion dollars in the last 10 years. It's worked. But, guys, I went in with the goal to make $1,000 a month. $1,000 a month. I thought if I could make 1,000 bucks a month, it would help me pay some bills. And I'm sure you probably don't have any bills or anything, but for me and Jeannie, we had some bills, okay? So I thought if I could make a grand a month, it would help me pay some of those bills down. So I started talking to people and we started building and it took me about six months, but I got a check with a comma. I have never been as excited to see a comma in my whole life as I was to have a residual check with my name on it and a comma involved. But yeah. Dino and I used to go to church with Zig Ziglar. Where are you, Dino? Uh, right there. We used to go to church with Zig, and Zig would say, go as far as you can see. And when you get there, you'll be able to see a little further. And That's Zig right. was right. Yeah. Because when we got it to 1,000 a month, I could then see 3,000 a month. So I put my head back down and went to work. Because, see, I grew up dirt poor southeast Dallas. Yeah. I didn't have a dad. My mom worked in a sewing factory. There were two murders and a rape within seven houses of where I grew up, the house I grew up in. I didn't understand money. But when I got to 1,000, 
I could see three then. I couldn't see three in the beginning, but I could see three after we got to one. So we got it to three. You know what? Zig was right. I could see five. So I put my head back down, got back to work. I got it to five, and then I could see 10, and then 20, and then 50, and then 100. And I tell you what, every time I'd hit one of those goals in a month, all of a sudden I could see a little farther down that road, and all of a sudden I'd keep moving. But guys, I sat in that chair just like you did, wondering if I could even make a thousand bucks. It doesn't matter. We just got to set those goals. So we got to start believing in us. We got to start believing in me. That's the thing you got to do. You believe in yourself, and all of a sudden you can do great and mighty things because everybody in this room has greatness inside you. But we, that, that's kind of how I got this thing going, and it just took off. And Jeannie and I have been blessed to make millions of dollars. But I tell you what, it started with that first goal of just trying to make a thousand bucks a month. Guys, we got to have those goals. Let's talk about this real quick. We gotta, we're going to talk about dream, grow, and work. And I got to get us out of here fast, huh? I told Miriam and Dolores I'd take them to eat something, so I got five minutes. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in having fun in life, okay? That's right. It's too short not to. That's right. All right, dream. Guys, everybody in this room, we need to write our dreams down. If you haven't written your dreams down, you need to do it. You know, we should change those at the beginning of every year. And I can show you guys on my phone, on my memo pad, on my phone, I wrote my goals down for this year. And I try to read them every morning and every night because that keeps them fresh on my mind and I know what I'm trying to accomplish. And yeah, we've been blessed to make some money, but I just keep changing my goals. I keep enlarging my goals. I, I, I still have dreams and stuff I'm wanting to do too. So I'm telling you what, Ladies and gentlemen, write your goals down. That is so important to write your goals down so that we can go over that stuff all the time and keep it fresh on our mind because your mind is more powerful than the world's biggest computer. See, if we'll write that stuff down, your mind starts trying to figure out ways to accomplish that. But if it doesn't have anything to work off of, if it doesn't have that blueprint, then it doesn't know what to do. See, it doesn't know where, how to route all that information coming in. But if you're reading those goals all the time and your mind knows what you're trying to accomplish with your life, right. then all of a sudden you'll realize that you can do those great and mighty things. But it just takes us writing it down. we got to have our dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get back in the dream business again. <coughs> Number two, best piece of advice I ever got was when I talked to my cousin Manny and he said, if you want more, you got to become more, Presley. Yeah. If you want more, you got to become more. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to become more. We gotta grow as a person is what we've gotta do. We gotta raise ourselves up because you see, you don't chase success, you attract success by the person you become. Yeah. See, we all need to become a better person. See, none of us can go back to the beginning and, and make a new beginning, can we? Right. No. no. If we could, I'd have a dad in my life. I'd have loved to have had a dad in my life. I didn't have a dad in my life. Great mama, but I had no dad. And I tell you what, I would, if I could change it, I, I would, but I couldn't. But you know what? We can all start right where we are and make the best ending to our life that's possible. Right. And that means starting today. Right. We want to make the best ending possible. So we need to start growing. And if we'll start growing, we'll start attracting the success to us. So the four ways we're going to grow is by reading a little bit. I didn't like to read. I taught math, so I wouldn't have to read. I mean, I'm, I'm a terrible reader if you want to know the truth, but I read. Get this, read 10 pages today. 10 pages. Well, would we all agree if we wanted to, we could take 10, 15 minutes and read 10 pages? Yes or yes? Yes. yes. Yeah, we could. We could read us 10 pages. But what if we read 10 pages tomorrow and the next day? And then the next day and the next day, Terry. And then the next day and the next day and the next day. How about if for one calendar year, we simply read us 10 pages a day? And we all said we could. You realize 10 times 365 is 10,000, I mean, it's 3,650. Do you realize you've read 15 to 20 good books and all you've done is read 10 pages a day when you first got up or when you were chewing on your sandwich at lunch or when you are fixing to go to bed at night? Just read us 10 pages. Ladies and gentlemen, read your, get you a good book and start reading just simply 10 pages a day and do that over the course of a year. And I promise you, next year at this time, we'll meet back here and you won't be the same person. And I would dare say that your success level is going to go through the roof because if we read 15 to 20 good books, I'm telling you, you are going to learn and grow. Number two, as you're driving around in that rolling university, instead of sitting there listening to the negative news or bebopping to the jam, put you a book on CD or an audio program in there and listen as we're driving around. Average American drives 30 minutes a day in five years. That's 1,250 hours. That's the equivalent of a four-year college education. 
and all you're doing is listening to some good stuff as you're driving around in that rolling university. Number three, instead of watching that big time-wasting electronic income reducer at night. You don't know what I'm talking about? You know what most of the American people are doing, and I, I applaud you guys for being here, most of them are sitting in front of that electronic income reducer tonight, yeah. watching millionaires. I tell you what, I promise you it's more fun being one. <laughs> their life while well, I gotta get home and watch that. No, let's do that, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what we should have. But instead of watching that electronic income reducer, let's do this. Let's get an iPad or a computer out, let's watch some, some YouTube. And I'm not talking about a cat getting its tail chopped off. <laughs> I'm talking about let's watch a Zig Ziglar or Stephen Covey or Joyce Meyer yeah. or Tony Robbins or, or uh, Les uh, Brown or I mean I could go a lot of the heroes that I have in my life. I watch those people and that Jeannie, she'd be sitting there and we'd be I'll be in bed trying to watch this. She'd be laying there over here. She'd be going, Would you put your headphones on? I mean, because I'm listening to that stuff constantly. Yeah. <laughs> it helps us think a little different. And you know what? I can tell some of you guys think I'm a nut, don't you? No. I tell you what, I'm a sweaty nut anyway. But anyway, I may be a nut, but because I've done the stuff I'm telling you guys to do, I'm a rich nut. I tell you what. <laughs> Number four, we're going to start running with different people. We're going to run with winners. Yeah, that's right. Everybody in this room knows winners, and everybody in this room knows losers. Yeah. Guys, spend less time with those losers and more time with those winners, and what, what, what happens with your life? I tell those guys, we'd have a meeting at the beginning of the year there at Lakeview High School, and I'd tell them, I'd tell them how to act and dress and, and make good grades and respect and all the stuff you'd think I'd talk to young men about. But I'd also, I'd look at them at some point in time in there and I'd say, you show me who you run with and I'm going to show you who you are or who you're going to be. Who we run with, guys, has such an impact on, on our lives, on, on such an impact on our success. We need to start running with those winners, guys. Get rid of those losers. Spend less time with them, okay? And let's start finding more time to spend with the winners because when we're running with people that are going somewhere in their lives, we realize we can do great and mighty things in our lives. Yeah. So we're going to read. That's going to help us grow. We're going to watch. We're going to listen. We're going to run with winners, guys. That's going to take care of all that. And then dream, grow. The last point for tonight is work. Let me tell you this. You've got a chance to change your life over the next literally few months financially. You've got a chance to change your life, but it's going to take more work than you have ever put out in your life. Now, I'm not going to stand up here and say it's easy. It ain't easy. But I will say this. It is well worth it. It is well worth it. Because once you've accomplished this, once you've built that team, that residual check comes each and every month, and then you can go lay on the beach or play golf or go to the gym or whatever you want to do, and that check just keeps coming. But you got to pay the price up front or there, there's not going to be that check coming. And please don't tell me you're sitting around waiting for that Social Security check. <laughs> See, my little mama worked 40 some odd years of her life and retired, and she got a little $880 check, guys. That, that ain't the golden years, that's the golden arches, so we got to set the bar higher than that. We've got a chance to do something special, and with the promotions that we've got, ladies and gentlemen, for the next uh, 74 days or three days or how many days are left, we've got a chance to totally change our financial picture. But it's going to take us hitting the ground running the minute we walk out of here. We need to be showing those new people how they can make 20, 30, 40, 50,000 over the course of the next three or four months because that will change their lives. Yeah. And then they can change other people's lives. Right. Don't take no for looking, guys. Right. We're not trying to push them into our business, but we're going to push them like a dog to take a look, okay? Yeah. Because how can you tell me no if you don't know? Right. I mean, that's just right. the way it is. So we're going to do that. Yeah. We're going to dream, we're going to grow, and then we're going to work. <laughs> That's going to be our three keys to success. We're going to write our goals down tonight. We're going to start reading and doing all that stuff tonight. And we're going to start working our butt off by showing this plan. You know how all these leaders made that? You know how Martha Troy is a national director driving a Tesla now? She plugged into the meeting. She set appointments and she showed the plan. Yeah. You know what? When she got tired, you know what she still did? She plugged into the meeting. She set appointments and she showed the plan. People all the time come to me for the silver bullet. There ain't no silver bullet. It's plug into the meeting, set appointments, show the plan. And when you're tired of doing that, you keep plugging into the meeting, setting appointments, and showing the plan. But you got a chance to make millions of dollars, no guarantees. I can't guarantee anybody anything, but I'm telling you, you got a chance. If you're like me, all I ever wanted was a chance. I believe with all my heart. 
there will be two groups of us in this room, Donnie Anderson. There's going to be the group that's glad they did, and there's going to be the group that wishes they had. I hope you're in the glad they did category. God bless. We're done. Yeah. Woo!